Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you are not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. So even though this video is a timeless video because you know whenever we hear a message and resonate with it, like whatever is going on at the time when the message was made is all a part of just you know inspiring and creating that message. So I was reflecting on how you know right now Mercury is in retrograde in the sign of Libra and even Mars is there too and Libra and not to mention a new moon that we just had and Libra energy talks about relating but a lot of the times we overlook the biggest relationship or the most relation the most important relationship and that relationship is with ourselves so this retrograde period will definitely help to bring our attention to different ways how we relate to ourselves might that might be healthy or might be unhealthy and in videos you always hear me talk about being a witness and the importance of meditation and how you know a meditation is as simple as a conscious breath in and a conscious breath out it is us bringing our attention to our breathing and being a witness of our breath or like say I'm sitting outside right now getting some sun, just me witnessing the feeling of the sun against my skin, the wind that's blowing and you know, touching the right side of my shoulder, just me bringing my attention to that helps me to be in the moment because the mind cannot think and witness at the same time. It cannot think and observe at the same time. So yeah, with me mentioning all that, and you know us having a relationship with ourselves and the relationship with ourselves being super important so now i want you to imagine that you are a small child and you're a small child and you're crying because you need something and instead of stopping and you know seeing exactly what it is that you need your parent panic out of fear of you crying and out of love and just sticks a bottle in your mouth or sticks you in front of the television or hands you the cell phone to play a game. And even though the thing that was done distracts you from what you were crying about, it didn't resolve what you were crying about. Like it didn't, it didn't resolve the issue. Basically that issue is still there, but you were distracted from yourself within that moment. And because the tears stop, you know, it seems that you got over whatever was causing the tears in the first place. So imagine that that continues to happen over and over and over and over again. And keep in mind, this is not to be mean or hateful or anything. This is just that person doing the best that they could in that moment, trying to, you know, resolve <clears throat> whatever was matter with you in their way and still dealing with their own personal issues so fast forward to being an adult or being more mature and having full control over yourself and your situation around you and pay attention to how whenever we feel um, triggered or we experience certain things that create negative emotions within us, how we do that same thing of, you know, sticking a bottle in our mouth, that might be us eating to numb the pain or sticking a cigarette in our mouth or, you know, smoking something, drinking something, watching something. Basically, as adults, we also tend to ignore our inner child. You know, we tend to do anything to 
basically get ourselves to shut up. And sometimes we can feel like we're depriving ourselves by misunderstanding the signals of the body. When I say misunderstanding the signals of the body, what I mean by that is say, for example, whenever you feel powerless for whatever reason, the first thing you might do is go to your favorite restaurant. So in a moment where you're triggered and you feel powerless, your body might tell you that it wants to have a certain thing. And this is not to misunderstand the difference between when we're nutri nutritionally deficient and our body is telling us that we need something because that thing has a nutrient in it that we need and the body is just that smart. But yes, the body has memory. So it might tell you, oh, you want to go to your favorite coffee shop or whatever. And just the idea of being in that environment, you know, feels like it's calling you and it makes you feel good. But in all reality, the body just wants to numb the pain and the body remembers that the last time that you had that pain, that is what you did to soothe it. So it's going to give you those memories or make those suggestions in your mind. But this is where the importance of being still comes in and being a witness. Because in that moment, if we attend that inner child, the inner child within us that is upset or frustrated and, or feels triggered about whatever just happened, if we become still and ask ourselves, what do I need in this moment to, you know, what do I need in this moment? What do I need in this moment? You know, if we're still, basically the answer will come to us. And a lot of the times what we need is just to be in the present and ob ob observe what we're experiencing and just sit there with it. You know, I find that our inner child is just like a child in the sense that and our inner child is a child. It's the truest and realest part of who we are before our conditioning. So it's like when a child wants to play. If you continue to ignore that child, the more they get frustrated and the more they want your attention, more and more and more and more. But if we were to just stop for a second and just play pretend with that child for a little bit, they'll play with us and then they'll get distracted and go on to something else and they don't no longer want to play that thing with you they just wanted your attention and that is the same thing when it comes to like you know a lot of what it is that we're feeling it you know our feelings just wants our attention like imagine how painful it is you know when we are going through something and we just want the attention of someone else to just sit down and hear us. You know what I mean? Just hear us. Where that's why some of us like will lose our shit whenever we feel gaslighted. And you know, we could be gaslit with other people just using their silence as a form of punishment or, you know, invalidating us by telling us that our experience isn't real. We just want we just want a witness. You know, we just want something, someone to be present with us and say, I hear you. You know, I hear you. You know, I feel you. I don't need to understand you, but I hear you. And that is the same thing that, you know, our inner child needs from us, us sitting in that moment and just being a witness and us being a witness says, I hear you. So say, for example, you know, for me, say, for example, um, something on a certain day, I might feel like, okay, you know, like basically say, for example, something might upset me or frustrate me. And in the past, I might jump in the car and drive a whole hour to go to a really nice restaurant or whatever. And even though the food is good and the ambiance is really nice, that is just, you know, a means of escaping. And in that moment, I went to that place, I did that thing. And I feel like I'm satisfied when in all reality, when I went there, the food that I ate basically numbed me down and kind of put my inner child to sleep, you know, and it put it to sleep for a little while until, you know, that trigger happens again. So I'm not saying to deprive yourself from the things that you like, but whenever you are feeling whatever it is that you're feeling, stop for a second and just reflect and ask yourself, you know, like, what do I need in this moment? And know that, you know, basically us escaping reality is not what we need in that moment. We need to just sit with whatever it is that we are experiencing. Some of us empaths will realize when we sit with that feeling and we ask questions, 
we realized that that emotion wasn't ours to begin with and maybe we're picking up on strong emotions of someone else and in other situations we sit with that emotion and once we've sat with that emotion and become a witness long enough then after we can start making suggestions suggestions to ourselves instead of fighting that emotion we suggest you know the opposite of that like i've mentioned in other videos you know you make affirmation instead of saying you know that i am you know i am what is like i am i am lonely you know you might affirm to yourself i am loved and i am always surrounded with you know with with support and love and guidance the universe loves me you know basically just affirm the opposite of whatever it is that you're feeling to yourself and i promise you that you know you will start to feel better you will shift that vibration if you're still here with me i would love to hear about it please let me know by dropping me a green heart in the comment box below i would love to hear from you love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does take care of yourself and i look forward to seeing you in the next video